Excuse me, miss. May I see you in my office? Yes, it'll only take a minute. Before we begin, I'll preface by saying the work that you do here is very much noticed and appreciated. You're always prompt, respectful, and willing to help with any department. And everybody in this office sees your hard work. With that being said, I need to address a bit of a sensitive topic. Well, to put it mildly, your choice of dress lately has been rather distracting for some people in the office. What I mean is offices are small and people talk and the topic of conversation seems to be, well, you. I'm not at liberty to say who and I don't want to perpetuate office gossip. I'm bringing it up to you privately because I respect you and I value you as my assistant. Look, who said what isn't important? I just... Miss, please calm down. And remember, this is a workplace. Let's remain professional. I know you work very hard. And as I stated, your efforts are noticed. All I'm asking is that you mind your attire and... Well, technically, you aren't violating dress code, which is why I just wanted to have a quick chat with you. What's wrong with the way you dress? Uh, <clears throat> well, lately, your dresses seem to be fitting tightly and your... <clears throat> chest tends to be on <clears throat> full display. Do I have an issue with it? I... Listen, I apologize if I made you uncomfortable with this conversation, but it needed to be had. Please, just consider what I've said. Look, it's Friday and it's slow. Take the rest of the day off. Start your weekend early. No, no, I'm not upset. There's no more meetings for the day. And I just have some simple paperwork to finish. Go ahead and take off. I'll see you Monday morning. Have a nice weekend, miss. God, she's beautiful. I've never seen her like that. So angry, so fiery, so fucking hot. And that dress made her ass look stunning. Shit, I gotta get her out of my head and finish up. Good morning, everyone. Morning, miss. You're here early. <sighs> mm, okay. Could you send me this week's agenda so I could... You've already set my calendar. Thank you. Well, if you could screen my calls and visitors for the morning, I'll be... Yes, reviewing last week's reports. That predictable, huh? All right, then. <laughs> I'll be in my office. Shit. She wouldn't even look at me. She wore a turtleneck for fuck's sake. But she still looks fucking amazing. If she only knew. The way those dickhead interns look at her and the shit they say when they 
think they're whispering. It drives me fucking insane. What am I saying? It's not like she's my girlfriend or anything. But there's something about her that just stirs up this need to protect her. <sighs> I need to focus and get these reports approved. Damn it, my numbers aren't adding up. What time is it? It's 1.30, fuck me. I worked right through lunch. I guess I should call and have her grab something. Thought I said no visitors. How can I help? Oh, miss, it's you. I was just going to see if you're ready for l Oh, you've got it already, and from that cafe we both like. Thank you. Did you get something for yourself? Good. As always, the offer stands if you'd like to join me. <sighs> the break room, right. That's where everyone eats. Well, enjoy your lunch, miss. She got my favorite order exactly right. I didn't even have to ask. She still won't speak more than a few words to me. Shit, I must have really pissed her off. I need to fix this. I'm glad we're all on the same page. The advertising department really stepped up. And we expect record high sales this month, the same as last month. My assistant has taken the minutes and figures and will send them to you all by the end of the day tomorrow. Meeting adjourned. See you all in the morning. Uh, excuse me, uh, miss, can I have a few moments of your time in my office? I forgot a couple of documents I'd like to include with the minutes. Okay, if you could add these two charts to the email, I'd appreciate it. Yes, I um, suppose that's all. Wait, <sighs> look, I, I truly apologize for the way our conversation went the other day. I didn't mean to upset you. You've been short with me all day and I, I just want to clear the air. A, a question? Sure. As I've told you before, I'm not privy to office gossip. I'm not protecting anyone. If anything, you're the one I... Never mind. P please, can we just move on? Miss... I've warned you before about your professionalism. Please keep your voice down and mind your language. You want to know so fucking bad? Fine, here it is. Every man in this office wants you and looks at you like you're a piece of meat. And I'm fucking sick of it. What, what do I mean? Do you mean you really don't notice it? the way they gaze at you when you walk through the front doors, or how when you give the outline for our weekly meetings, all eyes are on you until the moment to take your seat, or those stupid fucking interns who ask you the dumbest questions or make ridiculous small talk just to get a chance to look down your blouse. They talk, you know. They think they all have a chance to be with you. How one night with you could change everything. It's disgusting. Why does it bother me? I... That doesn't matter. 
the fact is it's not appropriate for them to... For fuck's sake, just drop it. Fine. You want the truth? I hate it when they look at you. Because... Because... Because I want to be the only one that looks at you that way. Watching everyone I fuck you on a daily basis is driving me nuts. I want to fire and then punch every single person who dares to look at you. But that's impossible. This, this jealousy, this possessiveness rages inside of me. Because I, I, I want you to be mine. Only mine. Why? Are you serious? You're smart, witty, talented, funny, and God, you're fucking beautiful. We've worked together for nearly two years now, and every day I look forward to walking through these doors and seeing your gorgeous smile, hearing your voice, and just being around you in general. Seeing you and talking to you makes my heart flutter. I... I like you. A lot. And with the way you've been dressing lately, it's impossible for me to get you out of my head. Shit. Even in that turtleneck, you look drop-dead gorgeous, even though it's hot as hell outside. I'm sorry. Again, for the way that conversation went, I haven't seen you smile once this entire day. And that's been bugging the hell out of me. Knowing I'm the one that caused that smile to go away kills me. <sighs> All because I got jealous over a girl who isn't even mine. Look, I know this isn't appropriate. I'm your boss. And I don't want you to feel pressured in any way. If you want to quit, I understand. I'll give you anything you need. Recommendation letters, reference sheets, a severance package, or if you truly are uncomfortable and feel the need to go to HR, I won't try and talk you out of it. You deserve respect. Anyone who doesn't give it to you isn't worth your time, including me. Please. Say something. Do something. Anything. Tell me you hate me. Walk out of the door. Call me an asshole. This, this silence is killing me. What? What? What was that for? You like me too? Really? You were afraid to tell me because of our positions and you didn't want me to think of you as some girl who wants to sleep her way up the ladder. I, I, I would never think like that. You're one of the hardest working people in the office. If you wanted a better position, you'd get it in an instant. Why haven't you gone for other positions? There have been plenty of openings in different departments, all of them at a higher pay grade than where you are now, and you're more than qualified. No, not that I don't want you here, I just... You, you didn't want to stop working with me. Thank God. Don't get me wrong, I would have been happy for you, and I wouldn't have stopped you if you did go for another position, but I am so fucking glad you didn't. Can I, can I kiss you again? Thank you. God, your lips taste incredible, baby. Is it okay if I call you that? Good. Mm. 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 Mm.
Wait, wait, wait. Do you really want this? We can stop and pretend like this never... Okay, just... If we do this, you belong to me. Only me. I don't share. I want you all to myself. Of course I'm yours as well. If you want me. You do. One more thing. Like I said earlier, I've been jealous and possessive. And right now, I don't know if I can be nice or gentle with you. I need to claim you. Every part of me wants to bend you over this desk, fuck you senseless and make you mine. If that's not what you want, tell me now. Shit, say that again. Tell me you want me. Tell me you're mine. Fuck. Come here. Come here, on my desk. I know we spoke about dress code, but all I want right now is this fucking sweater to be off and on the floor. Take it off, now. You're perfect. It's a shame I had you cover up this beautiful body. Were you dressing that way to get my attention? Mm. Oh, you naughty girl. Well, it worked, princess. You've got my full, undivided attention now. Let me show you exactly what I've been wanting to do to you. Starting with your neck. And down to your collarbone. And down to your... Sorry, guys. This is all that we can show you on YouTube. If you'd like to listen to the full audio on Patreon, then sign up. If you're over 18, the link is in the description below. See you over there.